Hello, this is Ju. Hey, look what we have here. I was sent this multimeter from Venlabs. Actually, this is a clamp multimeter uh, to do a review on. And so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to take a look at this multimeter. Now, this multimeter can do a series of things, including AC, DC uh, current measurements, voltage testing. Um, it has auto range. It even has a backlight. It can do um, capacitance testing as well as a number of other things. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we see inside. And here you go. This is the box. It looks like it comes in a little package there. And here is a pretty hefty manual. This is kind of a nice manual. You usually don't see this kind of detail in a manual, but let's go ahead and open this up. I do like this little case. It's, it's a little protective zippered case. And there you go. This is the multimeter. And let's see, it has a couple of probes that you can plug in. I believe this is for the temperature tester, the multimeter itself. And yes, indeed, it does come with batteries. And so just looking at the unit, you can see here, uh, you can see kind of the jaws right here, which is the uh, NCV or non-contact voltage tester here. Uh, you can have a little clamping, so you can actually clamp in wires and uh, test that way. You have a little uh, function switch dial here, some function uh, buttons here. You have a digital display right here, which I could just take off this little Nice little protective uh, piece of plastic. And then the little plugs for the input terminals. I believe that uh, the one on the right is the input uh, red tester lead. And this one's for the black tester. And to install the batteries, you just turn the unit around. It does require a screwdriver to remove this one little screw here. And a little screw, don't lose the screw. And then this comes off and then we'll just insert the two AA batteries. And then to install the terminals here, you can see the terminals are right like here. You have a black and a red one. They do come with this little plastic protective cap for the little leads here, as you can see. So uh, try not to lose those. And again, the black one is plugged into the left. And the red one is plugged into the right. Okay, so just looking at how the dial works here, you can see that it's currently set to off. Uh, the next one is uh, NCV, which is the non-contact voltage. You have a couple of uh, current readings here. This is your voltage, uh, and uh, it looks like it has a maximum rated voltage of 750 AC volts and uh, 1000 DC volts. So those are the maximum for this unit. Uh, there's another uh, setting here, which looks like it does a variety of things, including ohms, continuity, diode, and capacitance. So that would be for that setting. Here's for uh, frequencies, and this would be your temperature. Now on the bottom, you have a function uh, button here, which probably switches, to, you know, let's say you're, you're at this setting here, uh, you probably switch from continuity to uh, diode testing, etc. Again, here's percent uh, uh, frequencies. This is a hold button, which I believe uh, kind of lights things up. So if we press this, oh, I think we have to turn it on. So let's go ahead and turn it on to voltage here. And if we hold this on, the display lights up and you actually even get a light here. So that's pretty cool. I, I believe it times out as well. And if you hold it down again, it turns itself off. And the last button here is a really neat button. It is a zero function. Let's say you're measuring voltage and you're measuring like 1.5 volts. If you hit this, it'll zero that 1.5 to zero volts, and then you can see the change in voltage uh, as, as you're measuring. And so this is a really cool function. I haven't seen that in many units. Okay, so let's, let's just light this thing up a little bit more so you can see the display a little clearer. And since we're already on voltage, let's just test some voltages. So we'll kind of prop this up so you can see it here. We'll start with just a, uh, um, 
a double A battery, which should be around uh, 1.5 volts, uh, probably a little higher. Yes, yeah, so you can see the display does time out. There you go. And so we'll just touch the probes and see what the reading is. Now it's not reading anything because I actually have it on AC right now. So I want, I do want to switch it to DC. This the batteries are DC. So we'll go ahead and touch that and 1.59 uh, and that's negative voltage because I have it the wrong direction. You do it this way and it's 1.59 volts. So it's showing a good voltage. Here's another battery, which should be three volts. We'll go ahead and test that out. Again, this display does time out. So we'll go ahead and test that out and 3.2 volts, it looks really good. So if I'm measuring 3.2 volts there and if I zero it out, like that, and it zeroes out, then when I release it, it should be negative 3.2, which is kind of cool. Now, if I reverse the battery, so it'll show negative 3.2, it'll actually double this reading because it's the difference. And now you're getting 6.5. So this zero option is kind of pretty powerful. Um, so I could just zero it out again and read it at the three volts again. There you go. Okay, so next let's test uh, these, these other functions, which is common to multimeters like uh, continuity, ohms, resistance, um, diodes, etc. So I, I switched it to, to this setting right here. And there's an auto detect, which looks like milliohms right there. So um, since, since we're there, let's just go ahead and test some resistors. So I have a couple of resistors here. Uh, this resistor right here should be, um, let's see, 9.1 ohms. So we'll go ahead and test that. It should be automatically red. So we'll go ahead and touch the leads. Turn this brightness back on. And it is testing at 9.2. So that's pretty close. So uh, I would say that this test is, is, is relatively accurate. Okay, so this resistor here is actually uh, 10K or 10,000 ohms. So let's go ahead and see if this will read correctly. And it's uh, 9.84, but it is showing K ohms. So that is really close to, to 10,000 ohms. So that, that reading seems to be accurate as well. So another test I commonly use is continuity. So when when something's in continuity, uh, it basically means there's like an open circuit. And so that function, you can just hit the function key and the next one shows this little kind of like uh, speaker display with ohms there. And I believe anything that's uh, lower than 30 ohms will, will display a beep. So I just, if I just touch these leads together, uh, those should be in continuity. And sure enough, they are in continuity and they're actually kind of displaying the ohms there or trying to. Now, if I take the screwdriver here, it should do the same thing. So if I touch one end to one end, and sure enough, oh, it's kind of varying. Maybe that screwdriver is not the best example. Here's a little piece of metal here, which is from a little uh, kind of a clip uh, thing here. So I touch one end to one, and that indeed shows that it's essentially an open circuit continuity. So another common test is for diodes. I do have this, uh, let's see, 4004 diode here. And so diodes, one, it only allows uh, current to go in one direction. And so it is, let's see, if we set it to diode, Let's see, there we go. It has that little symbol there. Uh, see if I have it in the correct direction. And it's showing uh, 0.5, get this display on, 0.5 volts, which is uh, showing generally a good diode. Anything between 0.5 to 0.8 is good. If you reverse it, it'll just show OL, 
which shows that there's no voltage going or no current going through that diode in that direction. So that is a good diode. It's only allowing it in one direction. Okay, so this unit also will measure capacitance or will measure uh, the capacitance of a capacitor. Uh, of course, I do have a, I believe this is a 1000 uh, um, microfarad capacitor. And of course you have to take it out of the circuit to test. And these are polarized, so you wanna uh, note the, let's see, let's go ahead and set it to the capacitance. There's nanofarads there, so it should be automatically, it should automatically change. Um, let's go ahead and touch the leads. It might take a second for it to read. There it goes. And it's showing uh, 0.9 millifarads, which is the same as the 1000 microfarad. So this capacitor is good. Let's go ahead and test a smaller capacitor. This is a 0.47 uh, microfarad capacitor. Go ahead and turn this back on and polarize. Let's see. Let's go ahead and touch one lead there. Touch the other lead. Again, it might take a second. And join 500 nanofarads, which is equivalent, uh, close enough to the 0.4 microfarads. So this, this capacitor is also good. Okay, so to measure non-contact voltage, basically you set it to the uh, NCV right here. Uh, you'll see a EF right there. And then you're just gonna kinda bring this, the clamp end, not closed, but bring this close to your, let's say an extension cord or power supply, which holds the voltage and the light should start, the NCV light should start beeping. So I have a little extension cord actually to a little power strip right there. I do have it on the NCV right there. And so as I approach this, you'll see that yes indeed, there's voltage associated with that cord and that is showing that I have live voltage. Now to measure current using the clamp feature here, you want to set it to either the 60 amps or a thousand amp setting, whichever is kind of closest to your voltage. In my case, I'm gonna just set it to the 60 amps. I'm making, I'm gonna be measuring AC, so I'm set it to AC. If you're measuring DC, you would set it to DC. But in my case, I'm gonna be uh, setting it to AC. Now to measure the current using the clamp meter, you're not, you're not gonna be able to clamp this over, let's say an extension cord. It has to be current in one direction. So fortunate or unfortunate, I do still have knob and tube wiring in my basement. Uh, and so this will allow me to uh, measure uh, this wire right here, which has a one directional current flow. And so I do have it set to uh, the 660 amps. And then, so I'm gonna just connect this over here and I'm measuring about 0.11 amps, which is about right since uh, this, this wire is just connected to overhead lighting and they're all uh, LED lights. So it shouldn't be that much current. Now here's two lines that are close together. They're essentially the same circuit. And so one should read uh, let's see, let me just connect here to one wire and that join 0.47. The other wire should also report the same thing, 0.45. But if I connect them both together, it goes to zero uh, current, so zero amps, since I'm reading in both directions and they cancel each other out. Okay, so the last thing I wanna test out is the temperature sensor. Now. It does come with a little wire here. Uh, I believe the black goes in the comm. And is it off? No, okay. Black goes in comm. Red goes here. And this little tip here is essentially the sensor. Now I do, uh, let's see, to measure the temperature, you just set it to the centigrade Fahrenheit setting 
right there. It's in Celsius there. I could change it to Fahrenheit um, like that. I do have two shot glasses full of water here. Uh, one's just standard temperature tap water. The other one I heated with a in, in a microwave for a little bit. So let's go ahead and test out just the, the, just the regular uh, temperature. And so it's going, and it's recording about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, let's move it to the hotter temperature uh, that was heated with the microwave. And already it just goes skyrocketing to 142 degrees Fahrenheit. And then back to the tap water back to the 70.2 and then again doing the zero function you could also you know just measure the difference in temperature so again we're back to 70 degrees i could zero that out here and it's zeroed and if i move it to the hotter water it'll tell me the difference in temperature so i really do like this zero function uh, button there. So that's the difference in the temperature is close to 69 degrees Fahrenheit. And there you go. That is the Venlab VC600D multimeter clamp multimeter. I really like all the functionalities. Thing, things are really easy to use. I really love the zero function. Uh, I think I'm going to be using that a lot. Um, the clamp seems to work okay and uh, the, the non-contact voltage also seems to work okay. So all in all, I'm happy with this uh, product and if you would like to buy it, I will uh, leave a Amazon link on the bottom there uh, for your reference. But if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and even consider subscribing to my channel. I have many more videos to come. Bye-bye.